Let's go, boys! Welcome back to We With 2K, episode number nine. Deep in this season, we're starting this episode off with some talk. A whole lot has happened. I see all your comments. Trust me, I see them. I want to talk about them. Number one. Everybody has commented this exact same thing. Does he realize that endgames are better than Invincibles? Now, I get that I'm pretty much a casual when it comes to 2K. But yes, I'm absolutely aware that endgames are better than Invincibles. I low-key thought that endgames would be too overpowered as a team captain or a power-up, so I didn't include them. But everybody has been asking, so here's my middle ground option. Shaq is my team captain. Some people also mentioned that this Shaq has a stamina issue, and I've kind of noticed it. I think it's due to the fact that he's 325 pounds. So, technically, LaMelo could be an endgame because he's my power-up player. Shaq could also technically be an endgame because he's my team captain. I chose to do just one. I went and bought endgame Shaquille O'Neal to add to our team. So, again, it was between these two, but here's what I don't understand, okay? You guys are gonna have to explain this to me because I just don't get it. I want to compare this Shaq and endgame Shaq. Everybody's saying that end games are so much better. How can it be better than an Invincible? I don't get it. I, I only see things in Madden terms, right? But in Madden, if I've got a 99 overall card with 99 speed, and then you show me another 99 overall card with 99 speed, and all the stats are the same, and they're the same size, like how is one card better? So end game Shack is 80 less pounds almost, 70 less pounds. So end game Shack is a lot lighter, so it'll probably move quicker. I don't know if he'll be as dominant in the post, but they have A plus everything no matter what. Slightly better free throw, three point mid-range. Slightly better pass IQ. Everything else is the same. Ah. <laughs> I just figured it out. This is what it is, isn't it? It's badges. So, end games have 80 Hall of Fame badges? Is that like the absolute maximum? Is that every single badge? Okay, well, I answered my own question. Let's get end game Shaq in here. So, I'm still gonna keep Shaq at the power forward. There's nothing I like more than a mismatch. And I think Shaq at power forward, by and large, is gonna be a mismatch. I think Yao will get less mismatches, but it's also end game Shaq anyway. So, end game Shaquille O'Neal, you're now part of the squad. I think next season, I might ball out and do multiple end games. Maybe our power up player can be an end game, but I don't think it's fair that I can just add two end games to my squad right now just because I didn't before. So I think one is fair middle ground and LaMelo, the best he can get is invincible. So he's where he needs to be. Honestly, does any of it really matter? Because this team is so cracked. Like, what do I care? Also, people are mentioning that I missed opening some challenge wheel packs from last season and a Ridge wheel. Sometimes my brain's just, just not all there. Either way, we are Coming off one of the biggest heartbreak losses ever. I was up by three and he drills a three in my face to send it to overtime. Um, I know you guys are telling me, hold right stick up. The guys will put their hands up. I got to do more of that. I got to stop jumping for threes. And I also got to change my coach sliders for transition threes. I'm learning a lot. Either way, we're turning around today. We're five and three and taking a look at the cheat sheet. You guys know the rules. Sitting at five and three with four games remaining means the best case scenario for me is I have to earn one toast sucking by calling someone by calling someone to my contacts and convincing them to suck my toes that's easy eight and four at the fake sdt call five people seven and five is a temporary tattoo for six episodes six and six is truthfully answering five questions that's if i can only win one out of the next four games i am more scared of truthfully answer five questions than anything and i've talked about that a lot uh, i got the dirt jersey out so hoping today's a big w we also have kate cunningham who is a power up player so the next win that i get i can upgrade kate cunningham to i believe believe his galaxy opal is a galaxy opal right or am i going all yeah he has a galaxy opal. so galaxy opal and then we'll have his invincible after that i hate to say this gentlemen but i feel like wanu ginobili is who we should replace he has been cracked but he still is a galaxy opal so the dark matter would be sick it's phone a friend i wonder if jesser plays any 2k this season. i'm gonna call jesser oh, don't cloud reject me dude jesser's about to cloud reject me on oh, oh. All right, I gotta call Denver, bro. If anybody knows the most cracked card I can get right now, it's Denver. The young goat. Denver's 2K content right now is fire. Go check him out after this video. Yo, fuck that. Denver, you're so sexy. I want to suck your toes right here, right now. Come on over, baby. I'll suck your cock. Come on, ogre. It's all ogre now, Denver. It's all, it's all ogre now. Listen, I got a wheel spin on wheel of 2K. I got to phone a friend to help me pick my next player. I figured you were the best guy to call. Hey, wait, it's any player. And then you'll use them, right? I, I will use whoever you give me in this game, absolutely. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Ruby Bugsy Boat. Bro, what the? What are you doing, Denver? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Shit! 
I shouldn't have committed to using the player. For Ruby, Muggsy, Bogues, what are you on? Bro, the last time I played 2K, he low-key had like a pretty gnarly dark matter. Yeah, I remember we wagered last year or something, and I used Muggsy Bogues, and you we were roasting him. So now life <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's messed up, dude. That's messed up. All right, Denver, I love you. And um, hey, what's your next banger, dude? All your 2K videos are so fire right now. I mean, I literally tomorrow, and then I got one on Sunday. Like, you know how it is. He's that guy. He's that guy, boys. Make sure you check out the homie. All right, you absolute fucking dickhead. I'll gonna, I'm gonna go off for 60 with Muggsy, and then I'm adding you. Stay alive, stay alive. Don't catch you, bro. All right, good luck, bro. Peace. What was I thinking? Of course, if I cut Denver, he's gonna say that shit. I don't even care. I'm putting Muggsy for Manu, and we're gonna drop buckets with this Muggsy Bogues. Manu is out for Muggsy Bogues, this actual midget, bro. Five foot three, 144 pounds. Today's episode really more than anything is about getting a win so that I don't have to do the truthfully answer five questions or shaving the stash. Let's get our challenge wheel. I'm spinning it like this because I don't give a shit and I make the rules. See what we got, baby. I wouldn't mind a pack after this episode since I didn't add shit right there with Muggsy. It's can only, ooh, shit. Can only score with the power up player for one half. Oh shit. So we can only score the mellow for a whole half? All right, now a good way that I could kind of cheese this is that Cade Cunningham is also a power up player. So technically I could only score with both LaMelo and Cade. Ooh, but I can't even use Endgame Shaq for the whole quarter. That's actually a crazy hard challenge. All right, let's see. We got opponents lineup. Tyrese Halliburton, Larry Johnson, Kobe, Shaq, Bam Adebayo. You know what? I think we can do it. I think especially with Yao and, and Endgame Shaq, I think we're going to get boards like crazy. Damn, this is a tough challenge. We've never gotten this one before. Oh, step back. Easy. <laughs> Green with LaMelo. You know, one day... Oh, shit. Larry Johnson? One day I need to learn what all these badges do. You know? All right, so we're going to set the screen here. He's going to go over a little... <laughs> Two greens to start us out. Also, I've noticed, and I see in your guys' comments, that a lot of these close games that I've lost, I've lost because I'm trying to off-ball when I should be on-balling. Off-balling is really good defense sometimes, but if your opponent has it fully figured out, it's better to on-ball. So I need to start practicing getting better at on-ball so that I can win these close games. All right, all the way to the rack. Let's go. Contested, maybe a foul. No. Gotta play good defense. Shit, shit, shit. Another green from Larry Johnson. All right, it's nine to five right now. If things start to get out of, ooh, that's actually a really good shot. <laughs> All right, I was gonna say, if things get out of hand, I might have to hang up the towel on this. One whole half of scoring with just one player. Ooh, good D. Ooh, wait, that was nasty. Damn. Ooh, see Yao and Tatum don't like that, but Melo with the SWAT. I kinda need to use the whole shot clock if I'm gonna complete this challenge too, right? Ooh, shit. I got a little cocky there. I don't know, dude. All right, don't take it. Shit. Hey, good shot. Great shot. I'm on. I'm on Halliburton. No, I am not. I am not on Halliburton. All right, let's try this possession. If I score this possession, we're sticking with it. Why even pass that since I can't shoot it? I'm down by seven right now. I got to hang it up. Giannis on Kobe. I really like that matchup. 12 to 7. All right. I mean, technically, I can still do it in the second half, but that is so many points to score with one player. It's really only possible if I'm cooking my opponent, and this guy's pretty good, so he is really taking his time. <laughs> Mellow? Oh, shit. Horrible release. Just very much not. Good D! Good D. We're on the court. We got 10 seconds. Up to Yao. Shit. Out of bio right in the passing lane. No bueno. And he's going to green one. I got a decent shot up. Down by 10, trying to score with only LaMelo at first and then just not playing great after that. We have a lot of time to make up for our mistakes. So we got a second, third, and fourth quarter. This is quite bad, actually. It's probably the word for it. He reds one. Great board, David Robinson. LeBron to the rack. That is exactly why I like to use LeBron. All right, 14 to 22. I don't even know if it's smart for me to on ball here. Ooh, good defense. Oh, one more, one more. One more. Yes, sir! Seven fucker! Five point swing! Stay on him, Muggsy. Yup! Hey, you're just headed to the paint where David Robinson's sitting. He's just abusing Muggsy Bugs right now. Good D! Mobley sends him packing! Kinda just wanna score with Muggsy Bugs and get him the fuck out of the game. Muggsy! You mentioned! Oh, I'm sorry, Denver. I need to win this fucking game. I'm getting this bum ass out of the game. Oh, LeBron around the edge. Little pump fake. Good pump! Oh, 
What? That taco fall is huge, bro. Computer taco fall just shit out of me. <laughs> ah, he crossed Muggsy! Ruby Muggsy just got fucking torched. Oh, Muggsy! Wait, dude, who, what? Who did he even get swatted by, the actual air? Winds off the lake out of the northeast are on the stronger side this morning. Anywhere between 10, pushing near 25 miles per hour with higher gusts on top of that. When it's this early and you have Muggsy! That one! Get bigger, you're too small! You're too short! Muggsy Bogues and one! Respectfully retired from basketball. This game is over in his eyes. Yup. Into David Robinson. Fuck it. Dude, this unit minus Muggsy Bogues is my gnarliest unit. All right, new squad in. No more Muggsy Bogues. Ooh, into Dirk. Easy buck. Like, what are we doing? Wait, one more. Just pass it to Katie. So, ooh. Pass out a shot, Elite. Fade with no. Dirk. What is that release? That's not Dirk's release. Oh, step back, Wade Wanningham. Lamello's in. Good defense, Lamello. Good D, good board. Let's run it, boys. Mello! Who reads that? Uh, I'm okay with that shot. Right on Yao. All right, pass. One more. Yes, sir. Find the open man and drill it! Yao? Oh, uh, okay. Ooh, good move, Mello! Out to Yao for a deep green! Point two! I don't gotta put it to a four point game, it's a three point game! That's what we need right there, gentlemen. Hilariously, I don't think I've done anything with Endgame Shaq. I don't think he's even scored. All right, Yao on Taco. I got out of position. Okay, but Yao should have a free one here. Hey, I love that dunk package, Yao. Taco's gonna have nobody on him. Yep. Oh, but he had that was the worst dunk animation he could have gotten, bro. In the paint? Too free. Too free. Ooh, Giannis is jumping. What a <laughs> Finally get my pump fakes down. Great move with Yao. We're 17 for 32. He's 20 for 32. We've just hit a lot more threes. That's why even with three more baskets. All right, he's going for the screen and roll. Stay on it, Mello. Ooh, kind of feel like Shaq can body this man here. Holy shit, he can. Oh, on two end game Shaq? No. Came over at the perfect time with Yao. Damn. Hey, he's dropping the ball too. Damn, Russell can't hang on to it. Over to Mello, free one. Let's go. Needed that one. The off-ball defense actually working a lot better in this game than the on-ball defense is. Delay is significantly better. Good, good move. Two-point game, the closest it's been. We need to get Muggsy Bogues out of this ball. All right, I like this lineup. I really like this Devin Booker too. Oh shit. <laughs> Just greened it with Shaq in my face. Oh, easy shot for Booker. Oh, we just took the lead. Expose him. Expose him. Dude, that's what he keeps doing. He keeps fucking pausing the game. I could take the win right now. No, I gotta win like a champion. Now, if he griefs me, if he griefs me because of this, he goes and uses the whole three minutes, I'll take the win. What 2 is basically asking me is, do I want to be a pussy or not? And my answer is no. Although I am what I eat. Guess that makes me a dickhead. <laughs> All right, I guess he's back. I guess he's playing this game out. David Robinson on Shaq. Good defense so far. He's really backing down. Puts it up. Bucket, but he, he used a lot of stamina to do that. I don't think that was worth it for him to get two points. Oh, Booker. No way. How did I green the other one and I just missed that? That was so fucking stupid wide open. Out of bio on David Robinson. Mobley on Shaq. He gets another bucket. Mobley, free bucket. David Robinson's on Kobe somehow. Good double. Clean double. What a double team. That is not open. And that's a foul on Shaq. Great defense. I called the double once Shaq was posting up LeBron. Oh. Oh my God. Booker. We're up by two. Three seconds on the clock. He's got nothing open. Oh my God. All right, that's fine. We're up by, oh, we're not up by anything. It's all tied up. 57 to 57, fourth quarter coming up. Taco Falls coming back in, who I'm scared of. But Endgame Shaq comes back in too. Oh, Booker gets an open three, misses it. Shaq's got the board, going right back up. Endgame Shaq with a massive offensive board. I thought, I thought Booker was gonna yoink that. Wow, nice pass to Shaq, nice bucket. 59 to 59, he's getting back on defense. No, 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 
I didn't mean to shoot that! I was pressing X as a pump fake and it gave me a super early red release. Shaq on Dirk. Disgusting shot goes in. Ooh, Giannis on Kobe. And one! Ooh, I'll just take the shooting foul. Giannis hits these. He's got a good free throw. One beauty from Giannis. I think my starter's come in now, too. Okay. Dude, why does Shaq keep getting so open? Gotta get a good shot. Every shot's gotta be a good shot. Booker wide open. Nobody on him. Booker's been hitting everything right now. We need a stop, boys. Been a hot minute since we've been able to get a stop. Good D. Great D. And this fucking non-end game Shaq rips the board. He shoots another trash shot. Misses another one. What is going on? Please give me a board, let's go! Time out, get my starters in, I'm sick of it. That's a stop. We can take the lead here, boys. Shaq's in, Yao is in, Yao is at full energy. I don't know why Yao hasn't even been in. But we might need to play through Yao here. He's probably bringing in Taco. Get a nice little screen here from Shaq. Shaq on Bam, you gotta hit that. Oh, 42% contested. Comes up big. Hey, Yao with the block, and we're running the court. Into Yao, free, bucket. Wait, what? Yo! What? <laughs> He's got it! Four point ball game! Oh my god! Two minutes left, up by four. Huge. Lamello, wide. Oh, not wide open anymore. <laughs> Let's go! 69! Oh shit, nice cross. Halliburton goes up on three, doesn't get it! That could have been one of the biggest plays right there. Oh, Yao, the freest pick and roll, six point lead. All right, let's close this out. Let's close this game out. He wants to go to Shaq. Okay, I'm fine with this. Yup, great defense. 10 seconds, yup, use the whole clock. Into Shaq, perfect pick and roll, that's gotta be game. Ah, don't say that, Matt. I have lost, I have lost these games before. We're in a really good position. He's going to Bam out of bio. Makes a good move, and it's mine! This game is over! 73 up on the board. Mello, drill it. I think he's just taking his L. Taking his L like a champion. Clear path, follow me. Hey, this is gonna slam it. Take us up to 75. Is this the most I've ever scored in a game? This might be the most I've ever scored in a game. Good D! Let's go! Eight point secured victory big time dog boys so like that win is literally just for the record because i don't get a challenge wheel and i'm not keeping mugsy bogues on my fucking team so suck my dick and balls denver and one mugsy bogues three buckets and i won what a game dude i can't wait to see the box score on this one 15 for Lamelo ball six for 12 13 for yao six for seven amazing game for yao 13 for devin booker he was insane off the bench for sure i mean Shaq was good but it's not like i'm sitting there thinking oh my god it's the end game Shaq. he was like the same as my other Shaq. a low key i might have liked my other Shaq better because my other Shaq was bigger carmelo six points he had a very solid game as well Giannis two for two six points david robinson two for two mugsy was one for three but he did have three buckets and an assist lebron one for four mobley one for three dirk 0 for 2, that's sad. And there are new end games. Oh, there's end game taco. That's why he has a taco fall. There's an end game taco fall and an end game JR Smith. So we will want to be conscientious of that for future challenge wheels. But um, clearly this one was kind of silly. So my team doesn't change much, but my record certainly did. Uh, so Manu's back in. Ah, but as you guys know, that was a win. And since we got to win that game, our power up player Manu gets to go up to his next best, which is this Galaxy Opal right here. One more win and he goes up to invincible Cade Cunningham right here. An insanely good card. Six foot eight point guard, 220 pounds. We moved to six and three, so the stash will not be shaved. We still could truthfully answer five questions if I win. If I lost all three of the next games, I'm truthfully answering five questions, but right now I feel great about where we're at. That's it for now, boys. Thank you for watching as always. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.